Entitled husband treats me like his property and neglects and abuses our toddler. I finally lost it when he slapped my son for playing too hard, so I divorced him. Now he showed up at my parents' house demanding my return, abandoning the son at my parents, then assaulted my father. So last night, I put my three-year-old down for bed and then got into bed myself. My husband wanted to stay up a little longer and play video games. At about 10.30, I got woken up by small tugs on my blanket. My son was having nightmares. I picked him up and laid him down next to me. He cuddled up to me and went to sleep. My husband finally came to bed around 11 and was mad to find our son in our bed. He woke me up and told me I needed to put him back in his bed because I'm spoiling him by giving him so much attention. My son only sleeps with me like one or two times a month, but totally would more if his dad allowed it. My husband told me to stop coddling our son because he isn't a baby anymore. I still feel like he's my baby and I need to protect him. He gets scared at night and just wants his mama. My husband also gets mad and says I need to stop giving him so much affection so he'll pay attention to his dad more. Am I doing something wrong? I don't feel like I am. I just want the best for my baby. Update. So after reading all your replies and suggestions, I pushed for counseling with my husband. He refused. He said he survived his childhood, and a little rough parenting will do our son some good. I told him our son is three and doesn't need to suppress his feelings. We dropped it there. Yesterday he pushed me over the edge. My son was playing with some wooden blocks in the living room. At one point, he got a bit too excited and threw one. It hit his dad. His dad started screaming and ran over to my son and slapped him across the face. I started yelling at my husband and told him he would never hit my son again. He told me he deserved it. I packed a bag and my son and I are currently staying at my parents' house. I'm filing for divorce. My son will not be beat by his own father. Three-year-old is oblivious to the whole situation. He's very happy to spend a couple days with grandpa and grandma. He is especially excited he gets to sleep in the big bed with mom. But I can't help feeling like I'm wrong for this. Will this affect him mentally growing up? Am I being selfish by trying to take his father away? I love my son. But I don't want him to grow up getting hit any time he messes up. Second update. My husband showed up at my parents' house, and my dad made him leave. He keeps messaging me. I'm screenshotting everything he says. My mom and dad are helping me get through this. My husband keeps threatening me, and I'm documenting all of it. My son is still unaware, and only wants to go home because he misses our cats. Since we've been staying with my parents, I've noticed slight changes in my son's attitude and behavior. He seems happier. He doesn't seem as scared to play rough with toys or be a little loud. He also stopped asking if he could get in the bed with me and instead just climbs in and snuggles into me. I'm overjoyed to see my son so happy and toddler-like. Seeing how quickly he brightened up after not being around his dad for four days makes me wonder what his dad was doing when he had time alone with our son. I'm very thankful for all the help and support and will keep you all updated as time progresses. Third update. So, a lot has happened. So yesterday at about 5 or 6 p.m., my husband decided he wanted his wife back, not his son, just his wife. So he showed up at my parents' house and started beating on the door. We told him to leave. He didn't. Eventually he started fighting my dad, saying he just wants his wife back. Eventually the police were called, and my dad pressed charges against him for assault. But other than that, my little boy has started doing this absolutely adorable thing when we are going to sleep. When he snuggles up to me at night, he gives me a small kiss on my nose and tells me, I'm the best mama, and that he loves me more than Mr. Kitty, his stuffed kitty that he carries everywhere. It makes me so happy to see him smile, and he giggles so much about everything. He's so cute. I love my son so much. If anything else happens, I'll post another update. Thank you, friends. Fourth update. I would really like to change the title of these posts, but I feel like it would be confusing. Anyway, I have been talking to a lawyer for the past week and we are working on the divorce proceedings as well as custody and possible restraining orders. I am also trying to take my house back before my soon-to-be ex-husband does something to it. For those concerned, we have picked up the cats, and all four of them are comfy in my parents' house. For those who want an update on my son, he's doing great. His grandma got him some little dinosaur toys yesterday, and he has played with them until he physically couldn't anymore. He's also started trying to feed me stuff. Also, if I tell him he's my handsome boy, he tells me I'm his pretty mom. I love my son. I'm glad things are going well. Any future updates will be about my son 
until all court proceedings are finished. Thank you, Reddit, for all your help. Fifth update. Alright, so over the past week, I have been talking with a lawyer and compiling evidence. My soon-to-be ex-husband has still been trying to get me back. At one point, he even agreed to get therapy. I know he won't. And besides, you lose a lot of love and respect for someone after you see them slap your son and punch your dad. But anyway, other than legal stuff, here is an update on my son. On Thursday last week, we went to the doctor, and my son does seem to be okay physically. They did find a couple small bruises on his arms and legs, but they said it's probably from him running around and falling and toddler stuff. On the other hand, his doctor does believe he has autism, so in a few weeks he will be getting evaluated. My son is very noticeably happy. He loves all the attention he gets from his memes and pop-pop. He has also commandeered a blanket he found in their house and has decided that it will be his forever. He has also started this habit of snuggling as close to me as physically possible in bed. I don't know if that's okay, but I'm going to assume it's fine. He hasn't asked about his dad. He is perfectly content with life. He's happy. I'm happy. Everything is right in the world so far. Hope it stays that way. Sixth update. Well, I have officially begun the divorcing process. I asked my son if he misses his dad. He said no. That answer solidified this decision for me. My parents and lawyer are both encouraging me to file for full custody of my son. I will be doing this as well as filing for a restraining order, since he has not only hit my son, but also my father. My son has been nothing but happy recently. He's been eating well, sleeping well, and playing like toddlers do. Seeing him so happy gives me the motivation I need to keep pushing through this hardship. Since all of this started, I haven't been eating or sleeping well, and it amazes me how much children pay attention to that. My son will try to feed me and lay down with me for a nap. He's such a sweet and loving boy, and I know he will grow up to be a sweet and loving adult, especially with his father out of the picture. I cannot fathom how grateful I am for all the love and emotional support I have had over these past weeks from all of you other parents. Thank you so much. I will update more in the future. Seventh update. Well, it's officially been at least a month since I left my husband. Court proceedings are going well. My husband has decided to fight for custody of our son, as I suspected he would. But other than that, it's going well. My son is still happy. He is sick right now. The day after Halloween, he got pretty sick. His doctor said it's just the flu. He's vaccinated, so he should be fine. Even though he got sick, he had a very nice Halloween. He wanted to be a kangaroo. So I dressed him up as a joey, and I was a big kangaroo. He loved it. He doesn't care much for chocolate so my mom bought a bunch of ring pops. So he still gets the sugar high that comes with Halloween. Anyway, we'll update more in the future. I do enjoy writing about my son, a lot more than his sad excuse for a father. Thank you guys. Eighth update. My ex and I are officially divorced. He is tearing me down every chance he gets. I'm working myself to death while fighting him. I'm losing motivation. I just want the best for my son. I want him to have what his dad didn't. His family is berating me for calling him abusive. They called me a bad mother and sent me death threats. I am a bad mom. I jumped the gun, knowing I'd never done this alone. My son barely gets to play with me because I'm so exhausted constantly. I try so hard to do anything and everything I can with him. He sleeps with me every night. He snuggles up so close to me. And every night I look at him and cry because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't handle this. I don't know what to do. My parents are so much help but they can't make up for when I'm not there. My son is going to grow up thinking, where's my mom? She's at work trying to keep food on the table because she left your dad instead of working things out. Ninth update. After a bumpy road, a few breakdowns, and many bad memories. My son and I have finally moved back into our home. My parents blessed us with an early Christmas present a security system. Now we can't have any creepy ex-husbands lurking around our house. My son is happy, and after rereading my previous posts, I've realized I am too. Everything is going right in my son's world, and that's all that matters. My parents have also gifted my son with a German Shepherd puppy, since he has to leave his best friend Shelby, my parents' chocolate Labrador, behind. He has named her Calypso after the teacher dog in Blue Eye, and they are best friends. My son is happy, and I couldn't ask for anything more. Thank you all for the love and support. It has been much appreciated. Tenth update. Hello, everyone. Recently, I have seen a lot of nervous comments surrounding the dog my parents got my son. 
so I would like to shed some light on that for everyone. When we got the dog, I really did not want it. But my parents had it trained and wanted something to protect my son and me. I did let them know that any future furry friends preferably should be run by me first. Anyway, Calypso is living a very comfortable life. She has her own room with a doggy door that leads to our backyard, which is fenced in. She sleeps in her crate at night and kind of just hangs out during the day. Another thing. My son does have autism, and I have accounted for this. I promise if Calypso posed any threat to him, I would happily remove her from the household. For those wondering, Calypso is an 11-month-old, blue-coat German Shepherd. Sorry this update isn't more in-depth. Thank you all. A small update. Hello Reddit. I haven't posted in a while due to being busy, but I've gotten a couple messages asking for an update on my son and me. Unlike many people believed, the dog has been more manageable than originally thought. My son loves her. I love her. She keeps us safe. Everything is good. My son has started sleeping more independently, but still snuggles with his mom when necessary. My husband seems to have forgotten about us, and life is rather good. Thank you all. Goodbye. Comments. Usual Chapter 6681 I don't know why I'm feeling that the story was written by someone who wishes their mom would have chosen this path. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.